Well, we begin tonight with that ruling in Douglas County. A judge has sided with Doug Coe schools requiring students to mask up in the classroom. The ruling goes against the county's health order, which allowed parents to exempt their kids from the school district's mask requirement. Well, today, Denver 7 Sloan Dickey talked with parents on both sides of this very heated issue. He also found out this could play a factor during next week's school board elections. Tonight, I'm here just to support the board. I am absolutely livid at this sitting board. Parents drawing their battle lines to very different visions of COVID-19 to very different views of masking in schools. We're happy to support the mask ruling. I think it needs to be choice. Parents on both sides of the mask debate in Douglas County came out to the school board meeting tonight just hours after a federal judge ruling. I believe it will keep people safe and protect everyone, but especially those who are most vulnerable. Some people lining up hours early. We're here to be a civil presence. Others pitching tents and mandates and writing signs. What we're saying is uh, mandates, of course, are unconstitutional. Douglas County's new Board of Health created a public health order allowing parents to opt their students out of wearing a mask in the classroom. The school district didn't agree and took the board to court. Today, a federal judge sided with the district. The ruling found the plaintiffs, which included nine students with disabilities, were at risk of irreparable harm from attending class with unmasked students. The school district tells Denver 7 in a statement they will quote continue to prioritize the health and safety of all our students because this is about giving every child no matter their circumstances a fair shot to succeed and an equal opportunity to thrive in school. The health department responded as well in a statement saying they disagree with the ruling and they believe their overruled health order struck the proper balance of public health protection and parental involvement. I am very happy with the court ruling today. Um, I think it's a very exciting and positive thing for the safety of all the children in the schools and the teachers and administrators. Just like the policy. I think it's a, the, a very bad ruling. I think it sets a terrible slippery slope precedent. The ruling falling on a growing political fault line in Douglas County. And looming over that court decision is a school board election just a week away. The candidates in that election are promising to take the school district in two very different directions. And late tonight, we heard from the Highlands Ranch High School principal. He says they've just updated their policies and masks will be required starting tomorrow. Reporting in Douglas County, Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.